Hi guys, um, again I'm at this wonderful park in Los Gatos and the address is 298 Garden Hill Drive if you want to check it out. Um, and this one I'm looking at right now, um, fortunately they have some flowers pretty close to the ground so I get to um, show you guys more of their flowers um, and also I guess some anatomy of those eucalyptus in general. So eucalypt is a collect term for three genus, genera, I believe. Um, there is Crimbia, there is Angophora, and the biggest one of them is eucalyptus. And eucalyptus comes from the name, means that their flower is capped with this, um, this little cap here that's called a preculum. A preculum is just essentially like fused petals and they will shed when the flower is ready to flower and you can see most of the flowers you see are all the anthers here and in my experience although everyone perceives um, the scent differently I think all your eucalypts kind of have a honey like smell um, but they all carry their own special tone to it and I quite like them they're not like super pungent, but they're nice. And they have a lot of nectar usually. Let me see if I can find um, some pollinators. So you can... Sorry, it's a bit bright on my phone screen and I'm not the best at camera work, but you can probably see some bugs inside that, that flower in the back, the black thing. And there's ants. Um, move to this one. Can probably see an ant right there they have a lot of nectar um, and the theory is that each flower have a good amount but not enough to satisfy one bird or one bug's needs so they have to travel between flowers to get enough nectar and the eucalyptus cosmophylla which i haven't talked to you guys about before is an exception because that produces a lot of nectar um, but back to the topic and after the flower fades, it will become um, this structure that's just essentially the gum nut or the fruit. And when the fruit dries out, you can see those three valves here. They will split open and the seeds will shed. Um, so this is Eucalyptus kittoniana. Um, common name is Gippsland Maui. It's native to, you know, the Gippsland area and it's Maui. Mali is just the descriptive, if a collective term for eucalypts that are, you know, shorter, multi-branched usually, and have a lignin tuber at the base as a storage organ where they can sprout from after a fire. Um, Gippsland Mali, eucalyptus, eucalyptus kitsoniana, and I think Malatin is the best, isn't the best, but I think usually, you know, when it's named after somebody, it's some 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 Anna. So I think eucalyptus kitsoniana might be named after someone. Kitsoni or Kitstone or something like that. <laughs> so here's another one of the Eucalyptus Kitsoniana and you see it has two branches. It has two main trunks here, this coppery looking one here. Um, and the park is really nice. Um, it's smooth, it has this cool color to it and the, the old bark sheds in ribbons. Um, so that is Eucalyptus Kitsoniana for you.